Proverbs, chapter 22, KJV. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. The, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from him. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. He strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips, the king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth, he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I shall be slain, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of strange women is a deep pit. He that is aboard of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee, they shall with all be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in the Lord. I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee, to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of the truth to them that sent unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause, and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. But not thou one, be, not, be not thou one of them that strike heads, or of them that are sure that are surety of, for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Ceased, um, ceased, ceased thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Chapter 23 When thou sittest, when th when thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and, a poor, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Be not desirous of his, his dainties. <coughs> be not desirous of his dainties. For they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle, as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he think, thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shalt thou vomit up, and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Remove not the old landmark, and enter not into the fields of the fathers. For, the, for their redeemer is mighty, he shall plead their cause with thee, applying thine heart unto instruction. 
and thine ears to the words of knowledge. Withhold not correction from the, from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod, and shalt deliver his soul from hell. My son, if thine heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. Ye, yea, my reins shall rejoice, when thy lips speak right things. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine bibblers, and among riotous eaters of flesh. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and drunk drunziness <clears throat> and drunziness shall clothe a man with rags. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bear thee shall rejoice. My son, give me thine heart, and let thine eyes observe my ways. <clears throat> For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. She also lieth in wait as for a prey, and increaseth the transgressors among men, who hath woe, who hath sorrow, who hath contentions, who hath babbling, who hath wounds without cause, who hath redness of eyes, they that tarry long at the wine, they that, they that go to seek mixed wine. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last it, it biteth like a serpent, and, and stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thine heart shall utter perverse things. Ye, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken thee, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will seek it yet again. Proverbs chapter 24 Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. For their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Through wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counsellors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool, he openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that deviseth to do evil shall be called a mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abomination to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death, and those that are ready to be slain, if thou sayest, Behold, we knew it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, doth not he know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, and thy honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, there shall, then, shall be, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil, spoil not his resting place, for a just man falleth, <coughs> for a just man falleth, falleth seven times, and riseth up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. 
Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth, lest the Lord see it, and it displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the King, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? These things shall uh, these these things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, Thou art righteous. He shall him shall the people curse. Nations shall abhor him, but to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon him. Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth a right answer. Prepare thy work without, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. <laughs> Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with thy lips. Say not, I will do so to him as he hath done to me. I will render to the, to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the, of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nets and nettles, nettles, or nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw, and considered it well. I looked upon it, and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. <clears throat> oh my God! So just need to ch um, just need to check um, how I should pronounce this word. Just give me a moment, please. Is it nes nes neto neso neto? Is it <coughs> nettle? Oh, it's neto. nettle. Nettle. Kind of plant, a wild plant with heart sh with heart shaped le leaves that covered that are covered in hairs that sting, cause a painful reaction when touched. Oh, I see. So let us resume. Yeah, Proverbs KJV chapter twenty five. The these are also proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hez the men which the men of Hez Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the, or, but the honor of, of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven for height, and the earth for depth, and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king. And his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand at not in the place of great men. For better it is that that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince, whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the in the end thereof. When thy neighbor hath put thee to shame, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine in and and thine in famine in famine turn not away. A word, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver, and as an earring of gold and as an ornament of of fine gold. So is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear, as the cold of snow in the time of harvest. So is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince per persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bond. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith, and vomitest. Withdraw thy foot 
from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a mouth, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth, and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and as vinegar upon uh, uh, upon nitr nit nitrate, not nitrate, as he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, in nitrate or it looks like nitrate. Excuse me, not sure how to pronounce this. Um, it's a n i t r n i t r e n i t r e Nitre. Nitre. <laughs> a man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a mouth and a sword and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an faithful in and in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh as he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and as a a, vin, a vinegar upon upon Nitre, 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 <laughs> upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. If thine enemy be, uh, be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink, for thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. <laughs> for, thou shalt, um, for thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth uh, an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman and, and in a wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Oh my god. So, you can choose, uh, uh, again, you can choose to accept, to either accept or re reject the truths, the red pills. I, I know um, there are plenty of, uh, you know, guys, dudes, who don't actually believe in the Bible. Well, be my guest. You can, you can, you feel free to believe whatever you want. And uh, don't, don't you ever cry, cry out, don't you? ever um, scream for help don't you ever you know yell at any person um, whom you, you you perceive they have done wrong on, onto you yeah so in short if you if, if, if you believe you alone have so much might have have so much power you can believe in whatever you want including yourself yeah, including your own strength Try to uh, try to resurrect your yourself then. once you you know once you depart from from this life from this planet. But in, in, in any regard, you you can believe whatever you want. So, um, but you can't um, you can't um, stop those people who have faith. Be, be, um, you can't stop those people, including myself, who have faith in the Lord, in, um, in, in Jesus. You know, you can't stop us from, from having faith in Jesus. You can't stop us from believing in His blood uh, atonement. You can call the you can call the Bible a uh, a uh, uh, a giant a uh, gigantic conspiracy came from the Jews, but um, you know, I can tell you with absolute certainty that. The, the the New Testament is is not originally uh, written in 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 Hebrews. Most of them is was 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 written originally in in Greek. So so why so what makes you think the Bible came from the Jews as a as a 
giant lie, a conspiracy. It is not a conspiracy. You know? It's a since you can access the Bible online free of charge, and uh, you you can get a Bible from me free of charge. You know, for 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 those who can't afford a a printed KJV, a KJV Bible, please feel 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 free to write to write me to write me to write me a message by by posting down your comments below below this video. Yeah. So um, well, in in any regard, I would like to resume reading Pro Proverbs. Yeah, chapter chapter twenty six, Proverbs Proverbs KJV, as snow in summer and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seem seemly for a fool, as the bird by by wandering, as the swallow. By flying, so the curse call causeless shall not come. A whip for the horse, a burden for the ass, a burden for the ass, <laughs> and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off. The feet and drinketh damage. The legs of the lame are not equal. So is a parable in the mouth of fools. As he that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that giveth honor to a fool. As a thorn goeth, as a thorn goeth up in the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. The great God that formed all things both rewardeth the fool. And rewardeth transgressors, as a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Seest, um, seest, thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. The slothful man saith, There is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom; it it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one is like one that taketh a dog by the ears, as a madman who casteth. Firebrands, arrows, and death. So is the man that deceiveth his neighbor, and saith, "Am I not in sport? Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where, so where there is no talebearer, the strife ceaseth. As coals are to burning coals, and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife." The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a post shirt, are like a pot shirt covered with silver dross. He that hateth dissembleth, he that hateth dissembleth with his lips, or he that hateth is known with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. <laughs> So, amen, guys. I, I shall leave the remaining chapters to my next Bible reading filming sessions. Thank you very much again for watching and listening. Stay safe, take care, and if God willing, I hope to, hope to see you guys in the next videos on YouTube. Um, stay safe, bye bye, and God bless.
Cheers.